Hello, today is Marathon Long Run Training Day. It's the longest run of the plan so far today. It's 24 kilometers, which is about 15 miles. This is the third time I've tried to do marathon training and the last two years, it's been this run that's caused me the most grief. It's caused me some knee issues, some IT band issues, and the first time I trained for a marathon, it was this run that ultimately led to me having to drop out. So, fingers crossed, now I'm a couple of stone lighter, now that I know a bit more about running and proper technique, and I've been following a decent plan, and I've been getting my nutrition slightly better this year, I'll be able to do it. I've also got on new running shoes, I don't know if you can see those, the Sacconi Triumphs, looking nice and blue there. I went for a nice walk in them yesterday to break them in, I only bought them yesterday. Walked around for about five or six miles, they're pretty comfortable. So we'll see how they handle today's 15 mile run. I better get out there because it's just before seven o'clock in the morning and I don't want to be out in the midday sun. So that's the first kilometer done in just over five minutes. It's a little bit quicker than I wanted. But my legs feel good so far, see if they still feel good. We've got 23 more kilometers to go. Now that's the first 5k done, so I'm about one fifth of the way through today's run. Still feeling quite good. It's just about 25, 26 minutes. The fifth kilometer was done in five minutes, which is a lot quicker than I was thinking. I don't know if that's the shoes or my cardio has actually improved so much over the last 11 weeks while I've been training. Still got about 19K to go. And gorgeous views of the river. So, Back a little bit, stay safe. So that's the first 10 kilometers done. Not my quickest. Probably the second quickest I've ever run 10k though. And legs still feeling good. A little twinge in the knee, but nothing bad, it's just normal knee pain. Now let's just turn that music off for a second. Now this is a lovely bit where you end up running against traffic. You've got to stay safe, which is why I'm wearing a bright fluorescent yellow jump uh, t-shirt. Jumper? T-shirt. I'm nearly at a point where I'm going to try a new route. So, that should be fun. So, there's the canal. Normally I'd go along that path up there. But I decided because today's a 24k run, I'll try and do a circuit or a loop and not double back on myself and also make sure that I do hit 24k. So I'm now heading past an industrial estate into a place called Beeston in Nottingham and then I'll head back into town through the city centre to a couple of another so outskirts of the city centre. Should be a nice little run this. Still feeling quite good, legs are feeling fine. These shoes, first time I've run in them, they are wonderful, they feel so light and so breathable as well. Having comfort when you're out running is absolutely crucial. You don't want to be feeling irritated while you're out running, do you? Finally, found a bin. Been carrying this for about four kilometers. Always throw away your rubbish. Never chuck it, don't litter. Here we go. and back on the run.
Uh, 16k done in about one hour 20 ish just over legs are still feeling good I'm keeping a good pace I think I was a little bit tender but then it does need surgery it's needed it for a couple of years but I'm an idiot at least if something goes wrong that's the Queen's Medical Centre behind there so I'm not too far from help if I need it Uh, 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 uh. Nearly a half marathon done. Still running. Furthest I've managed to run consistently. Normally I would have started walking after about 12, 13 kilometers to about a minute of walking and then start running, but I just don't feel it this year. Feels good. Weird. I like it. Still got about three kilometers to go on this run. Feeling absolutely amazing. It's mostly downhill from here, which is good. I'm playing this part well. Not a bit just before. That was uphill. Doesn't like that. Oh well. It's all miles in the legs, isn't it? Good morning, good morning, good morning. 24k down, just waiting for this bit of the app to finish playing. And then I can stop all the time. Nearly done. So the app I'm listening to is Zombies Run. I'm using their marathon training plan. This is week 11. 24k run is done. The only downside is sometimes these mission clips take a while so you've done your distance and you're still all running to let it finish. The app's just told me 5 minutes 12 seconds was my pace for each kilometre averaged out. Some of the kilometres were about 5.30, 5.40, some were a bit quicker. I don't think I did anything below 5 today but that's good for 24 kilometres, 15 miles in or 24.32 kilometers it says two hours six minutes 44 seconds well, that was a fun run it's several hours later i've been for a couple of wanders had a lot of food but today's run was really good really really strong first time i've managed to run that far in my life without stopping without walking taking walking breaks didn't actually drink a lot of water on the run either i was drinking to thirst but didn't feel that thirsty I did take two energy gels en route, uh, one at about 9k and one at about 18k and that seemed to do quite well so I think I might try and keep a 9k cycle when I actually come to do the Manchester Marathon in six weeks today. Now the all important thing, what was my half marathon time for today? Did I beat my previous best half marathon time? Yes I did. I can't remember what the old half marathon time was but I know it was nowhere near two hours. And today I did the half marathon, according to my Zombies Run app, in one hour, 48 minutes, 25 seconds. So that felt incredible. The Soconi Triumph shoes did really well, held up amazingly on what was their first run. In fact, I wore them wandering around town this afternoon as well. And they're really light, really breathable, which for an amateur like me is quite important you want to be able to run in comfort especially when you're going to be doing a marathon in sort of four or five hours you want to 
have something comfortable when you're up and on your feet for that long. I'm not Elio Kipchoge where I can put on sort of high-end shoes and be done in just over two hours and back into some sliders or some slippers. I wonder if he does that. Slippers in the changing room. Tomorrow I'm meant to be doing a easy run. I don't know whether I'm going to do it in the morning or the evening. My easy runs have been quite difficult on a Monday morning, quite painful, so I might kick it to tomorrow evening, see how that goes. I still don't know the start time I've got for the Manchester Marathon, so running at different times is probably going to be a sensible idea over the next six weeks just to get used to running at different times of day. I'm Carl Brown, I hope you've enjoyed today's running vlog, and I'll see you again probably next Sunday. Peace!